Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Chevron Friendship Bracelet. You'll find all the supplies you'll need down in the description below. Okay, first you're going to take all your embroidery floss and hold it together. There's 12 strands here, two of each color. And then you're going to tie an overhand knot about 5 inches down from one end. Then just tape it down to your desk and you're going to separate the cords so there's the same amount on the left and the right and that the colors are lined up the same. Okay, the knots you need to know for this bracelet are called the forwards knot and the backwards knot. Both of them are just two double half hitch knots, but one's going forward and one's going backward. You're going to grab the furthest cord on the left and you're going to hold it over the next cord in the shape of a four. And then you're going to push that end down underneath and through the loop and then you're gonna pull it through and tighten it up. Then you're gonna repeat that same thing, making the four shape, pu pushing the end under and through the loop and tightening it as well. And that is your first forward knot. Put that color aside and you're gonna start on the next color and you're doing the same thing, making the four shape, pulling the end to the loop and tightening it up and doing that twice for each color of cord. Just repeat this for each color on the left side and then I'll show you what you do on the other side. All right, you're just going to leave the cord you were using on the left in the center, and then you're going to start on the right side doing the same thing you did before, except your four shape will be going in the other direction. But besides that, it's exactly the same. So you make your backwards four, you bring the end up under and through, and you tighten it. And then you go to the next cord, the same one, you make sure you keep it in the same order as you did on the other side, and you do the same thing. Backwards four, pull it to the loop, and tighten. Once you get to the center with the same color cord, you're just going to either tie a backward or a forward knot to connect them. I'm going with a backwards knot since I've just been doing that and I'm kind of in that groove, but you just want to do the same thing for each row, whatever you pick. All right, for the next row, you're just going to start with the next color and you're going to be doing the same exact steps we just did in that first row. And you're just going to repeat this for each row until the bracelet is the length you want. Here's how it'll look once you've done one row of each color and then you just continue repeating that until you have the desired length for your bracelet. I did mine about five inches long. Then just tie one more overhand knot at the bottom of your bracelet and trim the excess cord off and you're done. I just left my ends the way they are and tied them on like that, but you could also braid them or do even a fishtail braid that would kind of mimic the chevron look if you wanted. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!